Hey, what up guys? Carlos here, aka Lobo Films, and today I'm going to show you how I use speed ramping as a transition for my fitness edits, just like these. So before we get started, there's two things we're gonna need. You want a camera that shoots at 60 frames per second or higher and a gimbal to stabilize your shots. Now, you can speed ramp using handheld, but there's a few more things you'd have to do. So like the majority for my edits, every time I use a speed ramp transition, I'm always um, using my stabilized shots. It comes out smoother, looks cleaner, and it just overall looks better in my opinion. If you want to know what I use, I use a newer AFI. Um, definitely, definitely not the best that's out there right now, but um, it gets the job done. I paid about four hundred dollars for it, and it stabilizes my shot, and that's all I need it to do. You know, um, I don't have twelve hundred dollars to be spending on a on a Ronin or anything like that. So um, yeah, I highly recommend. Definitely get a gimbal. It'll take your videos to another level. Look more professional you know, smoother shots, overall better quality. And as for the camera, we want shots that are gonna be 60 frames per second because that's how I film all of my fitness edits. Um, I never know exactly what I wanna slow down or speed up, so I just do it all at 60 frames per second and that way it gives me a peace of mind knowing that I can slow down or speed up anything that I want. All right, enough talking. Let's jump into Premiere Pro and um, I'm gonna go through some raw footage first. I'm gonna let it play and then explain how I shoot, my style of filming, why I'm moving the way that I'm moving. And then um, after that, we'll piece it all together and I'll show you how to um, do the speed ramp. So let's get it. All right guys, so right here on the left side, you'll see the two clips that we wanna use. And then down here in the timeline, I have the audio already laid out. I made a cut where the bass hit is and then I made another cut where the clap is. This is gonna help me know exactly where I wanna make my transition. So let me play this first clip for you. All right, so right here you're gonna notice that I'm moving around a lot. I'm going left to right, front to back. I'm going all over the place. I never plan ahead for a speed ramp. So by moving around, it kind of just helps me find shots that I wanna use. Um, let me play this other clip. Um, so yeah, this one also I'll be moving forward, backwards, left to right, and like I said, um, for the speed ramps, like if I'm moving to the right on the end of one shot, then the beginning of the next shot, I'm going to be moving to the right. If I'm moving to the left at the end of one shot, then at the beginning of the other one, we want to be moving to the left. So whichever way we're going, we want to keep that flow going, and it's going to make the speed ramp look way more seamless, I guess you could say. So let's get to piecing it together. Um, we're gonna take our first clip, we're gonna right click and duplicate it. That way we still have the regular footage at a normal pace and then this one we're gonna modify and it'll be a lot slower. So we'll right click again, go to modify, interpret footage. Right now it's at 59.9, which is 60 frames per second. Well, we're gonna go down here, double click, 23.976, hit enter. And now this clip's going to be really slowed down. So we're going to go through it and we're going to find a good spot to um, a good shot that we want to use for the speed ramp. So I want to look for a shot where I'm either moving to the left or moving to the right. So let's see. Right here's a good spot right here. I like this shot. So he pulls it to his chest. He's coming down and then we could speed it right here and then it goes into the next shot. And see how I'm moving to the left right here? So our next shot, we're gonna make sure that we're moving to the left. So let's mark in right here. Come out, come out. And then right before he even starts the second rep, we're gonna stop it so right here is pretty good so we'll mark out 
and we'll drag video only we don't need the audio and we'll bring that down here so right here he's gonna wrap and then we're gonna speed it up so it'll be good right here okay so right here we have the base hit this is exactly where I want to make the transition so what we'll do <clears throat> we'll hit shift and hold down shift the whole time and hit the left arrow key and that's automatically gonna jump you five frames now if you didn't hold down the shift button and you just hit the arrow key by itself it's gonna go one frame at a time so hitting shift is just a faster way of doing it so we hit shift go over five frames and then we'll let go of the shift and then hit it one more time for six frames so next I'll hit C on my keyboard which is gonna bring up my razor tool um, I created custom shortcuts for my keyboard so if you can't find your razor tool it's gonna to be right here on the left side so we get the razor we're gonna click right here make a cut and then I'll hit V to get my select tool um, which is also right here on the very top so this is right where we made our cut so everything from here this whole clip right here we're gonna speed it up and let me drag it up so it's organized so what I'll do is I'll hit F and it's going to bring up this right here on the left side which is rate stretch tool and what this is going to let us do is either speed up that clip or slow it down as much as we want so I'm gonna click right here and bring it all the way in and now it's sped up so let's see what that looks like right now so it's looking a little glitchy so let's see what's wrong with it. Okay, so see right here, he's pulling it to his chest and then he's coming back out. And then for some reason right here on this other clip, he pulled it right back to his chest. So it's off and it does this sometimes. I don't know why, um, but like 90% of the times when I'm doing my speed ramps, I never have this problem, but I'm actually glad that it happened right now for the tutorial. So just in case you're having this problem, um, I can show you how we can fix it so since he pulled it to his chest right here we're just gonna try and find that exact spot down here so that looks like it would be the same clip so we're actually gonna make a cut right here and then we're gonna delete this part because this is the part that's screwing us over so we'll delete it grab this drag it all the way over here because we want it to be all a smooth motion. So yeah, that's about right. So then just click right here at the very end and we're gonna stretch it back out. And that's more of the footage, so there we go. Now it's not glitchy at all, it's super smooth, perfect. There we go. Okay, so let's get our other clip and we're gonna right click, duplicate. Like I said before, again, I like to have two of each. So I like to have my slowed down clip and then my regular pace clip, which is exactly why we duplicate it. Cause once we modify it, there's no going back. So right here, we'll right click again, modify, interpret footage. It's at 60 frames. We'll go to 23.976, hit enter. And now this is our slow clip. So let's go back to here real quick. Notice we're moving to the left. So we wanna make sure with this one that we're moving to the left as well. Um, also another thing to look for, see how he's pulling it to his chest and then he's coming right back out. Well, with this exercise is also another movement that he's pulling it to his chest and coming back out. So we're gonna look kind of for like the exact same spot. <clears throat> so we'll keep looking through and these are all on the right side movements I don't want any of these oh and keep in mind with this shot right here I'm on the left side of his body so I'm looking for another clip where I'll be kind of like on the left side of his body in the other in the other shot as well so we'll go back here and 
Okay, now right here we're on the left, left side of his body, so now let's start looking for motions where we're moving to the left. Okay, right here looks like a good spot because he has it up to his stomach. We're moving to the left. We're on the left side of his body. So let's see, and he's coming right back out. And he's gonna go rep again, perfect. That should work right here. So we'll mark in right here. Come out. And mark out right here. And we'll drag this clip down. And let's see how we're gonna modify it. So keep we're gonna keep going down to about right right before he's about to start repping again. So right here should be pretty good. I'll hit C, get the razor tool again, we're gonna make a cut. And then I'll hit F, which would be again right here the rate stretch tool. And we're gonna speed up this clip all the way in. Um, right here, I kind of just guess it. I mean, it should be, let's see, it should be about five, four or five frames over. Four frames. So that's good enough right there. It doesn't have to be perfect. So we're going to see how this looks right here already. Perfect. He's coming out, coming out, and then bam, back to repping it. Perfect, so now we're gonna add a little effect to make it even better. So we'll go right here to the effects tab, and right here on the search, we're gonna type in blur. And right here we have all types of blurs. We're gonna want directional blur, so click on it, and then we're gonna drag it onto this clip and then we're going to click it again and drag it onto this other clip so the blur length right here we're going to set it anywhere between 9 10 I always like to set it at 9 I don't want it to be too blurry of a shot and then the direction I'm going to set it to 70 um, I actually looked like I've gone through every degree and like played it and see like what looks like it's flowing that way so I've found that 70 is always good for motions that are when you're going left to right and then for motions where I'm going straight at them I'll set it to 20 and um but I mean that's my personal preference everybody's different if you want to play with the degrees a little bit and and choose something different go for it so this clip also click on it and the blur length, we'll set this one to nine. Oh, whoops. Nine, enter. And this one will hit 70. And now it's gonna give it a little more motion blur to it. So let's see what it looks like. Way better. Perfect. And that's how I do my speed ramps. Um, like I said, I'm always when I'm filming, I'm always moving left to right, forward, backwards, constantly moving because I don't know when I'm gonna do my speed ramp. Hopefully you guys like the tutorial. Hopefully it helps you out. Make sure to tag me on Instagram on your edits. I wanna see people using the, the speed ramps. Um, I got tagged on a lot of the time freeze ones, so I'm glad y'all like that one. That's one of my transitions I have about four or five other transitions that I use at times so I'm going to make tutorials over those ones. I hope y'all liked it and um, until next time.